सब्सक्राइब टू बिजबो एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सी बोरिंग न्यूज टर्न इन टू एंजॉयबल स्टोरीज डू यू नो वाई अ कैट शर्ट्स इट्स आईज वेन इट ड्रिंक्स मिल्क As the saying goes, it's because if they can't see what they are doing, how can anyone else? Well, that's exactly how China seems to be behaving with respect to the disappearance of Peng Shuai, its top tennis player. I'm not aware of the situation. I've never heard of this. Peng Shuai's whereabouts have been a cause of concern ever since she made her accusations public in early November. Even if I'm destroying myself, I will still speak out the truth about us. Peng Shuai is the only Chinese tennis player, man or woman, to be ranked world number one and has won the doubles title at Wimbledon and the French Open. On the 2nd of November this year, she claimed that sometime in 2007, Zhang Gaoli, then 68, and his wife invited her for a game of tennis at their Tianjin home. After which, he forced himself on her while his wife guarded the door. She also admitted that it led to an on-off relationship between them that lasted 7 years and that she developed feelings for him. These incidents took place when Zhang was the top party official of Tianjin, a city some 100 kilometers from Beijing. Despite Peng herself acknowledging, "I have no evidence. There's no audio record, no video record, only my distorted but very real experience." The Communist Party hit back by deleting the tweet and scrubbed out Peng Shuai's very existence. A search for Peng Shuai on Baidu, China's Google, or Tencent's Sogu search engine, which one showed more than seven million results, now had only seven hundred. All because she stained the country's image by revealing the shameful acts of Zhang Gaoli, a former vice premier and one of the seven members of CPC's Politburo Standing Committee, the highest decision-making body under President Xi Jinping. But Peng Shuai's tennis fraternity was not going to take this lying down. I am devastated and shocked. Clearly, it's disturbing. I hope she's safe. Hashtag Where is Peng Shuai began trending as Naomi Osaka, Novak Djokovic, and the footballer Gerard Peek began tweeting. The Women's Tennis Association (WTA), the organizing body of the women's tour, stepped in. I have repeatedly tried to reach her via numerous forms of communication to no avail. as did the united nations we want an investigation into her allegation of sexual assault and the white house we want china to provide independent verifiable proof of her whereabouts conspicuous by its absence of criticism was the international olympic committee who commented via email experience shows that quiet diplomacy is best to find the solution Despite the fact that Peng Shuai participated in 3 Olympics, Beijing, London and Rio and won gold for China at the 2010 Asian Games. The Switzerland based IOC is in a quandary as the Winter Olympics start on February 4, 2022 with the host being none other than China. Already a target for boycott from multiple human rights organizations largely over the Uyghurs issue, the games face a possible diplomatic boycott by the United States and other countries. However, fully boycotting the Winter Olympics is not the answer. Thousands of athletes train for 4 years all for a shot at an Olympic medal. India would never have got its Abhinav Bindra or Neeraj Chopra had Olympics been boycotted for some reason. Kashmiri alpine skier Arif Mohammad Khan is also the only Indian to have qualified so far for the 2022 Winter Olympics. Further, the IOC will be unwilling to take a hard stand and risk billions of dollars in television broadcasting rights and sponsorships. Nor is a full boycott likely to happen, according to IOC's longest-serving member. If Peng Shuai's issue is not resolved, it may spin out of control. Whether that escalates to a boycott, I doubt it. Neither will America's basketball league, the NBA, take a hard stand after they lost an estimated 400 million dollars in broadcast rights. When China blacked it out after the Houston Rockets tweeted in support of protesters in Hong Kong, but the tennis bodies WTA and ITF, International Tennis Federation, can and are pressuring China. While we have not spoken to the player, we are in touch with the National Tennis Association in China. The pressure began to pay off, but instead of quelling doubts, they raised it further. When a tweet by CGTN, the English language arm of China's Central Television, that is meant for foreign audiences, released this: "Hello everyone, this is Peng Shuai. The news in that release, including the allegation of sexual assault, is not true. I'm not missing, nor am I unsafe." 
Her initial accusation had read, "Even if it's just striking a stone with a pebble, or a moth attacking a flame and quoting its self-destruction, I will tell the truth about you." So the tennis world was stunned with the reversal. I have a hard time believing that a person who exhibited such courage has changed completely. China tried to improve. This time to Hu Shijin, editor of the state-controlled newspaper Global Times, who tweeted a few videos. One at a Beijing tennis tournament on Sunday, 21st November, shows Pung at the National Tennis Center. Another showed Pung signing autographs for children at the same event. And yet another showing Pung sitting maskless at a dinner table, chatting with a coach and others about tennis matches. Bizarrely, she and a guest mentioned the date five times in the short clip. Tomorrow is November twentieth. It is the twenty-first. That's more the sort of thing you would expect from a proof of life video, not from friends on a night out. While the chat seems to be staged, Pung appears relaxed in the footage. The man sitting next to her could be Zhang Junhui, an executive with the China Open tennis tournament, who is also seen with Pung at the kids' tennis event in Beijing, standing right next to her. Reminder. While WTA boss Steve Simon was glad to see the images, he remained skeptical. The video alone is insufficient, and it is not clear if she is free and able to make her own decisions without external interference. And threatened to end lucrative high-end tournaments allocated to China, including the WTA finals that are scheduled to be held there through 2030. With pressure still on, China arranged a 30-minute video call with IOC President Thomas Bach that did nothing to assuage fears. I'm safe and well. I'm living at my home in Beijing. I would like to have my privacy respected at this time. Pung has been relatively lucky. Others like Jack Ma and a host of business personalities, and even the X-Men star Fan Bingbing, disappeared for months. China also has a history of blanketing Me Too charges. Xianji's high-profile sexual harassment case against Zhu Jun, a famous host with state broadcaster CCTV, that led to a briefly flourishing Me Too movement in 2018, was swiftly suppressed by barring Xianji from posting on Weibo, and blanking out the phrase "rice bunny," a Chinese homonym for Me Too, removing it from social media. However, then as now, social media users have found creative workarounds to get their voices heard. Some are commenting about Pung Shuai on Weibo's posts of Zhang Shuai, another tennis player, no relation. Freeweibo.com, which keeps a record of censored posts from Weibo, said searches for Pung Shuai and Zhang Gaoli were both among the top 10 search topics in China. 35-year-old Pung Shuai has not competed professionally since early 2020, so her decision to reveal everything now cannot hamper her tennis career. History has shown that international pressure works. South Africa was forced to change their stand against apartheid, in part because of a sports boycott. Can sports be the one that does it again with China? Baseball's Limerick. Everyone's worried about Pang Shuai. They are questioning China and asking why. So let the pressure remain till her freedom attain. From the clutches of authoritarianism, it's her we must pry. Subscribe to Bizbo and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever Bizbo releases a new video. Sources of all our information is listed in the video description section.